Inventor 2026 contains loads of new enhancements to improve your collaboration with Revit. For the first time since the Jurassic period, there's now a brand new eye property. Revit category allows category information to be added to Inventor components for both export and Inventor documentation. The BIM content environment has now been reorganized to make it the central place to go for Inventor to Revit workflows. The new placement command allows accurate positioning of your Inventor geometry in a Revit project. Simply select an Inventor UCS and then choose which Revit origin to align it to. The Include Properties command contains a default category setting to streamline the process of applying Revit categories on export. And below this is a list of all I properties found in the current assembly to allow customization of the properties included in the export. RVTs are now directly exported from the BIM content environment using Simplify and Export. The usual simplification tools are here, but in Inventor 2026, custom Revit templates can now be specified. This means that shared properties and Revit origin positions can be customized to match your project. And below this, we've included an additional structure called Parts Only, which will export every part in your assembly as a separate Revit element. When exporting to Revit 2026, there's also the option to receive an IFC file at the same time. And finally, we have a summary of the various metadata settings relevant to your export, making it super easy to check settings before committing to the process. In Revit, after opening the RVT file, we can select the individual elements and in the properties panel, it has the Revit category that was applied in Inventor, along with the relevant instance properties, if factory or Inventor instance properties, and the type properties, if custom or standard I properties. And of course, if we create a Revit schedule, all the exported properties and their values are displayed. To complete the workflow, simply link this file into the main Revit project, and we'll see that the Inventor placement command has positioned the geometry in the correct location. All this and much more in Inventor 2026.